Another person went to his parents, fell in love with this particular person. By the way, I get afraid of that word, fell in love. I mean, there is love, but how did you fall in love? I mean, what happened? Let's have a look at it. Parents didn't want them. They didn't want her. So he said, I made istikhara and my istikhara was good. She made istikhara and she saw goodness because they're relying on dreams. They went to the mum and dad. Mum and dad don't want her. They said, hold on, son. Let us make an istikhara. We go to the masjid five times a day. You don't. That means our istikhara is something special. Father and mother went and made istikhara. They don't want her, right? Guess what they saw? A bad dream. She was the worst on earth. Father comes up, son, Allah has showed me. The son says to me, but I made istikhara, Shaykh, and it was good. How? What, what do I do? What do I do? I said, none of you are correct. But then even if it was a dream from Allah, we don't have a scale or a way of measuring what this dream means. Keep going forward, inshallah. And I gave him some solutions. Alhamdulillah, he followed them. The istikhara is very simple. You do it and you leave the outcome to Allah and rely on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then what happens is either doors open and you start getting there or doors closed and obstacle after obstacle, they get worse and worse and worse until you get to a point where you can no longer go forward.